Look at all this rubber, and it's even knobbed for my pleasure. What's up guys, Jeff from Worldwide Cyclery. Uh, this is going to be a quick video Nothing too complicated on tires, but hopefully to just demystify all of these crazy amount of options when it comes to mountain bike tires, and let alone just one brand, which I think is probably the biggest name in mountain bike tires, which is Maxxis. Um, I don't know, Schwalbe's pretty big and there's some other ones, but Maxxis is one of the biggest ones out there. They make a bunch of different models. We're gonna go over sort of the popular ones, go over some of the tires that have been around for a long time that are kind of iconic in the mountain bike world. So. Right off the bat, let's start out with uh, you know all the different tires, which one's right for you. That really boils down to what you're doing on your bike, where you're riding, uh, the dirt of where you're riding, and uh, just the type of riding style, right? So you can go all the way from a, a cross-country mountain bike. So the Icon is a super popular cross-country tire. You're gonna notice sort of the key differences between you know like a cross-country tire and uh, something that's a little bit more of a, a downhill tire or an enduro tire, the weight and the overall width of the tire. So cross country tires are gonna be anywhere from about a 1.8, you know, maybe to a 2.1, 2.2, uh, whereas a trail bike tire might be, you know, 2.3, 2.35, all the way up to a 2.7. Uh, trail bike tires are, have been sort of getting you know, a lot wider these days, or I guess they're not getting wider, but people are just using what used to be called downhill bike tires on their trail bike um, because they love the traction and, you know, it's just a good overall tire and works really well. So weight and width are kind of the two biggest things when it comes to tires. The lighter the tire is and the skinnier it is, it's gonna be more geared to a cross country mountain bike and the beefier and knobbier and heavier that thing gets, it's gonna be more geared towards a uh, downhill mountain bike or an enduro longer travel bike. The uh, tires these days we're talking about, again, we're kind of just looking at general mountain bike tires. We're not really gonna go into plus tires or fat bike tires or any of that sort of stuff, just some of the basic ones. So Icons, general cross country mountain bike, really popular, fast rolling tire, super lightweight. You can tell these knobs are really small. So this isn't gonna be like a crazy good traction tire, but uh, it's gonna be really, it's really made more for, you know, decent traction, but it's, the idea behind this tire is speed, rolling resistance, and being lightweight. Um, stepping up a little bit, you have an Ardent Race. So this is gonna be, you know, maybe you could put this on a cross country bike as well, a little more traction going on here, but still lightweight, still a good, you know, center tread pattern as well. Ardent Race is a pretty popular tire. Crossmark, again, we're talking cross country tires here. Uh, great rear tire on the back of a cross country or a trail bike. The Maxxis Ardent tire is just the regular Ardent, not the Ardent race. This is kind of a, uh, I would say a do-it-all tire. Uh, 2.4 is a pretty common size. This bike behind me right here, Yeti SB 4.5. So that's a four and a half inch travel. We call it a mid-travel 29er trail bike. Yeti specs it with Ardent tires. Um, they're great, they roll fast, they're super lightweight. Again, it's kind of like a, a light use trail general mountain bike tire. I know that's kind of a vague terminology, but um, pretty common on like a, uh, you know, four inch travel, four and a half inch, five inch travel, 29 or, or 27.5. Um, popular tire, uh, works great. They're not the grippiest. So we definitely have seen people, even on a bike like this, they're gonna put some beefier tires just to get more traction. Uh, something maybe like a Minion DHF. The Minion DHF, I think is probably the most popular Maxxis tire there is, at least uh, at least when you're talking downhill and enduro and sort of modern day trail bikes these days that people are putting, you know, this used to be a 2.5 a 2 tire, this is a 2.3 right here, but a 2.5 used to be kind of exclusively for downhill bikes, but almost everyone's running 2.4s or 2.5s on their trail or enduro bikes these days. Um, so pretty common thing. Uh, this is an SB6, so it's a six inch travel 27.5 bike. You call that an enduro bike. That's got a DHF on the front. Again, DHF is a super popular tire. You see this on anything from a World Cup winning downhill bike to your enduro bike to even a you know, mid-travel 29 or so. Very versatile tire. It is, it is pretty heavy and beefy, but that also means it's really strong. It's, it's got a you know, thick sidewall. It's gonna be a lot more durable than say something like an Ardent. So very popular tire. Uh, next up, 
Minion DHR2. So this again was kind of more originally intended for it to be a downhill bike tire, but people are running it on enduro and trail bikes these days. Another phenomenal tire, a uh, little bit different, uh, you know, middle middle section of tread right here, but the same corner knobs as a DHF is going to have. So not a hugely different tire than a DHF, but I think the idea here was a little bit faster rolling resistance, maybe a little bit different reaction when it comes to braking. What else we have here? Um, Maxxis Aggressor. So this is pretty popular for a rear tire these days. Um, you can see how much knobs and how flat they are in the midsection. This makes the tire roll really efficiently, which is why it's a commonly used rear tire. So these are the stock tires that Yeti specs on their SB6 Enduro bike. Again, six inch travel, 27.5 bike, a DHF in the front and an Aggressor in the rear. Very popular combo these days. Um, beefy tires, Super good traction, thicker sidewalls, uh, great for, you know, anywhere from a trail bike, but more commonly seen on a uh, enduro bike to a downhill bike. And again, when it comes to tires, uh, Ardents are really popular for sort of general trail bikes. Minion DHFs are probably the most popular of all Maxxis tires that have been around forever and got a ton of World Cup downhill race wins under their name and I think some Enduro World Series wins under their name. So a lot of tires to choose from, but some of the key things to look at is the width of the tire, the wider that thing gets, you know, the more aggressive it's going to be. And you can tell by the pictures of how aggressive the knobs are. You know, more aggressive those knobs get, more traction you can expect to get out of that tire. And the wider that thing gets, it's probably going to be more for an enduro bike where if it's a little bit more narrower or if you're comparing the weights between the tires you can really easily see all these tires are listed everywhere and they usually have the weight in grams so you can tell if a lighter weight tire versus a heavier tire and you kind of know what use case it's made for and it uh, you know really just depends on where you're riding whether something like an Icon or an Ardent or a DHF is going to work on your bike so where you're riding how you're riding and the type of bike you're riding we're going to determine determine which tire is going to make the most sense for you and we're also happy to answer that question we all ride bikes here and we eat sleep and breathe mountain bikes so happy to uh, offer any advice on that sort of stuff and tires are kind of a loaded question because there's so many of them and there's so many different terrains you know uh, we're filming this video in Southern California right now and most of the time out here it's dry and dusty and loose over hard pack uh, whereas uh, you can go all the way out to Pennsylvania and you're gonna have mud over roots and it's gonna be wet all the time Maybe not all the time, but a lot of time, more so than here. So a lot of different trains out there and tires to match that and different bikes for different tires. But hopefully that cleared up some questions and didn't make the whole topic any more confusing. Thanks for watching. We would love to know in the comments which tires you guys are riding right now. There's a lot of different brands, a lot of different models, and a lot of different sizes. Leave a comment below and let us know and hit that subscribe button to check out some more cool mountain bike content coming your way from our channel. Hey man, what about the fat bike tires? Uh, what about tires for my e-bike? Uh, cut!